Hi guys, so we are up with the new video. Let's watch. So our today's topic is types of engines. The engines that are used in aircraft are generally gas turbine engines and they are furthermore divided into four sub parts or four sub engines turbojet engines turboshaft engines turboprop engines and turbofan engines so now we will start our topic from turbojet engines basically turbojet engines as defined from its name are used for military aircrafts these are jet engines and they are composed of two sections hot section and a cold section a cold section consists of inlet and compressor while a hot section consists of combustion chamber turbine and exhaust now what is inlet compressor combustion chamber and exhaust so now what is the intake basically the intake is the frontal area of the engine which sucks in the surrounding air inside the engine and then pass it to the compressor the compressor compressed the air during compression it decreases the volume of the air particles and while increases the pressure of the air particles after compression the air is passed on to the combustion chamber the combustion chamber sprays some amount of fuel over the air where the flame takes place or the fire burns after leaving the combustion chamber now these hot airs hit the turbine with the help of which the turbine starts to move or starts rotating after the turbine section these hot airs tend to leave the engine through the exhaust now what is turbofan engines turbofan engine is basically the advanced type of turbojet engines but the only thing which differs the turbofan engine from the turbojet engine is that the fan which is already understood by its name turbofan engine the turbofan engine consists of a bypass area which is sometimes also called as bypass engine actually the air is bypassed over the core of the engine that's why it is called as bypass engine how it works when the air sucks inside the engine through the inlet then it is divided into two parts the core engine and the bypass area of the engine the bypass area consists of 80 percent air and the core engine consists of the 20 percent air from the air which work together or work similarly it results in less weight fuel efficient furthermore in turbofan engines we have high, high bypass and low bypass engines the high bypass consists of the 80 percent bypass air and 20 percent core air while in low bypass the Core air consists of the 50% 50, 50 air and the bypass consists of the 50% air also. These low and high bypass engines are also classified by its ratio. The low bypass engine is known as 1 ratio 1 engine and the high bypass engine is known as the 5 ratio 1 engine. The one thing from which these engines are very clear to everyone is that these engines are twin spool and triple spool engines. Now what is the spool? The one spool consists of a one turbine and a one compressor. So the more spool an engine have, the more efficient these, in these engines will be because they result in high thrust, less weight and they are fuel efficient also. Let's assume we remove the spools from the engine, whether that is a twin spool or a triple spool. Let's remove all the spools from the engine. So the then the basic engine will be remaining and the basic engine will be known as a turbojet engine so that is the main difference between turbojet and the turbofan engine now turboprop engine as it is cleared from its name prop means propeller and so that's why it is called as turboprop engine usually the turboprop engine is the combination of a propeller and a gas turbine engine they both operates in the same manner because they both have a compressor a combustion chamber a turbine and an exhaust so the only thing that adds up here is the propeller that's why these engines are called as turboprop engines
So what is the mechanical difference in both the engines? Usually the turboprop engines consist of more turbine blades. Why? Because it has to operate reduction gearbox, accessory gearbox and a big propeller. Now what is a reduction gearbox and what is a accessory gearbox? Don't think over it, you will confuse. These are some internal engine parts. So let it be gone. So the question arises is here, do we actually need a turboprop engine? And if yes, then for what purpose do we need the turboprop engines? So we yes, we need the turboprop engines and we need it for the low speed aircrafts. Because if we use a turbojet or a turbo fan engine in a high speed aircraft, it will consume more fuel and that will not be more efficient as compared to turboprop engines because when the air strikes the engine so the 90 percent of the thrust is generated by the big propellers attached to the engine and the remaining 10 percent of the thrust is generated from the core of the engine and additional point here is do these engines operate over high speed no these engines are never made for high speed so they do not operate over high okay. speed now here it comes the last one the turboshaft engine basically the turboshaft engine is as similar as the turboprop engine the only thing which differs the turboshaft engines from the turboprop engine is that turboshaft engine delivers a power through a shaft to operate something or to do something or to leave a command to the engine in turboshaft engine the power takeoff is directly coupled by a turbine or a shaft that is driven by a turbine that's why this turboshaft engines are also called as helicopter engines the benefits of turboshaft engine is that it provides maximum shaft output or maximum engine output at low air speed and low altitude turboshaft engine usually provides power to low moving vehicles for example helicopters that's why it is also called as helicopter engine the principle is used and the majority of turboshaft engine currently produced and is being used extensively in helicopters and airplanes APUs where APU means auxiliary power unit. Therefore, the intake of a turboshaft engine is designed instead to cause as minimum loss as possible at such low forward velocities. It's up for today. Please like my video and do subscribe to my channel and Please do please tell me what are the likes of my videos and how to improve it.